Welcome to Holy Cross Lutheran Church Children's Ministry. Today's story can be found in Matthew 13, verses 3 to 8. The Gardener. Jesus told many stories. Listen carefully. A gardener went out to plant seeds, and as he did, some seeds fell beside the road, and birds came and ate them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and at once they sprang up, and they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and thorns came up and choked them out. Other seeds fell on good soil and yielded grain some a hundred times more than expected. We don't plant seeds in our garden, we plant flowers, said Ella. We don't plant anything, Micah added. We live in an apartment, there is no room for a garden. Perhaps I need to explain this story, Jesus told them. It is really not about seeds. Is it, about, it is about choosing how to do the right thing. What? Both children were really confused now. The first seeds fell along the road. Do you know what that would be like? Jesus asked them. Micah guessed. The ground is really hard next to the road. The seeds might just blow away. No, Micah, corrected Ella. He said the birds would eat the seeds. Birds like to eat seeds. Since the seeds would not sink into the ground, the birds could have lunch. That's right, Jesus said. So if I tell my words to those who choose not to listen or let my message sink in, then those people likely would not remember what I told them. Oh, it's not really about the birds, Micah sighed. That's right, Jesus agreed. Then for the seeds that landed between rocks, well, that's like people who get excited about my words. Then they get distracted. They forget what I said. So this is a sad story, really, said Ella. I know what I have said so far does not sound good, but I have a couple more examples of seeds. Some landed on ground, ground between thorn bushes. The seeds did not grow because they got choked by the thorn bushes. A thorn bush? asked Micah. Oh, that sounds awful, Ella sighed. People need to read the Bible and listen to what it says. When people get thirsty for truth, but they don't make time to read my word, it's like being thirsty on a very sunny, hot day. My word and fellowship with others helps people to grow spiritually. But without worship and reading the Bible, that's like the seeds in the sun without enough water, or seeds by the roads that the birds eat or even between thorn bushes, Jesus explained. Can we have a happy story now, please? Ella reminded Jesus. Yes, this, is last, this last story is the best part. Seeds that grow in good dirt and get watered grow into beautiful plants. That's like children or adults who listen to my words, worship, and pray. They hear words of truth, and live the blessings they are meant to have. People who enjoy sharing their lives with me are always blessed, Jesus said. I never thought about being a seed, but I do like singing songs, Micah exclaimed. I don't want to be like those first three seeds. I want to grow up learning more about God, Ella said happily. Let's all join together and sing the B-I-B-L-E.
That was great. Join us again for more stories by Jesus.